It's been uh, uh, 40 years of accumulating and adding to, and, and uh, so I guess that's why I'm so excited about having, actually seeing it all, most of it, mm -hmm. you know, in one space. Doug Hams was our pottery professor, and he really built the program from um, the beginning. He built, actually built potter's wheels and uh, built some outdoor kilns as well as uh, the electric kilns. I watched him, you know, build lots of different uh, pottery pieces, and uh, we, the one we have in here is one of, a sample of his extra large. He called, uh, you know, the, the very large pots that he was interested in doing. In this gallery, we have a piece of Doug's pottery. We also have Andy Smith's pottery, who was one of his students, and Doug was his inspiration and motivation. And so just very well loved by the community as well as the college, you know, real active and showing his own work. About five years, five or six years ago, um, we began to separate out the North Carolina artist uh, because we felt like we, that's the direction we'd like to focus. And uh, so we housed those over in Burnside Dalton as the North Carolina Masters Collection. And then the works that stayed over here uh, we've given it the name International Collection because we have a lot of different uh, nationalities represented. In this exhibit, we have both. We've brought the North Carolina and put them together with some of our key pieces. We started most, um, most actively last January. We began to pull out all of the uh, art pieces we had in storage, uh, pulled out art that was stored in portfolios that had never been framed. During the summer, we continued to work on reframing and, uh, and framing new pieces and, uh, and then published our little uh, our book on the collections. It's been uh, uh, a labor, a labor of love, but it's been a labor. <laughs> When the Bat Center was built, it was built with storage uh, in, the, in the, this back area here. Not quite enough for this vast collection. Once we decided, Dr. Napier decided that this was going to come out and it was time to make this debut, we started to pull it out to see what we had. Various presidents had traveled and brought back pieces and given them to her and said, here's part of the collection. So over the years, we took in all styles, everything from uh, textiles, sculpture, figurative sculpture as you can see here, uh, international North Carolina artists, some even some North Carolina national treasure artists. So from that point on, we knew that we had a great collection, we just didn't know uh, how it would come together. Once it started to come together, we had too much, we had to edit. Nicholas Simbari trained in, in Italy. His dad worked on the Vatican. Jane Pizer is a North Carolina national treasure. She's a, in her 70s now and has a, a very interesting style. She uses clay colorants, oxides like mason stain, and uh, that this goes all the way back to the Egyptian days. Lynn Barnhart. Uh, did the building by, called Burris Building over here in the corner, uh, count the bricks. It's just an amazing replica of the building. And another piece that we're really proud of is Dale Chihuly. Uh, he's our glass artist and uh, we own one of his sea forms uh, from that collection. He has just done so much to bring art glass as a, into the fine art realm. is really to kind of explain to the students about his early work, his first pictures when he was just six years old, eight years old, ten years old, and to kind of transition into then when he went into the studio and what that was like. And then to kind of go over his biggest, most famous, you know, pictures and models, everything from, of course, um, Christina's world to this wonderful one master bedroom of the dog sleeping. But it's more just to really familiarize the students with, with the paintings, you know. 
so many people, I feel, are kind of scared of art. They don't understand it. And it's okay to not understand art, you know, just to appreciate it for, for its beauty. It's amazing, he was 31 when he painted that. You ask him about his work. No, you have to ask him about his work because it'll be too late. Oh, yeah, I see pencil. Come here. I was just uh, admiring the new gallery here in the Bat Center. Mm -hmm. I think it's amazing. I had no idea they were stashing uh, these uh, um, Pablo Picasso uh, paintings over there. Pretty awesome. That's incredible. I didn't know we had anything like that here. <laughs> We started to see that this is truly going to display as an international collection. We've got 2D, we've got 3D, how would it all come together? Um, we decided to go with landscapes, we decided to do the still life and the portrait, and, and that's where the title came from.